This video is to show you how to retrofit the basketball dome lights into LED. First thing you want to do is go up there, remove the light. Once you're up here, there's no need to cut the power. All you do is disconnect it from right here, from the light source, and it cuts the power. Then you just disconnect it from here. And then you gotta pick it up and over this hook right here and out and bring it down. Once you have it down here, you're gonna remove all four of these screws. They're on every corner. Right here, here, and here. You're gonna use a 5 16 nut drive to remove them. Also, you're gonna need a quart, one quarter nut drive to remove the, the screws from the inside. Also, you're gonna need a, a box of uh, number eight, 32 by one and a half inch uh, screws. A box of number eight, 32 nuts. So then you start removing them once you remove it with your 5 16 nut drive, you switch it out to the quarter inch nut drive. Put that on your screw gun. So once you remove all four screws, you just simply open it up. And you're gonna remove that screw, this screw, and this screw. Remove this, eliminate the ballast. So you can cut, cut these right here. This these uh, wires because you will no longer need this uh, ballast. You remove the ballast completely and you can cut these wires over here too. Removing the ballast completely. After you remove the ballast, you remove this screw and the screw that goes here, which I already removed. You just remove them real quick. And it opens up the inside. Then you just unbuckle this right here. You loosen the screw to this and it releases this latch. And then you open this latch and it'll open up the top, removing the top part. Once you cut that wire, you can easily remove this out the way. Then you just take these, these nuts right here, unscrew them, and the inside socket comes out. So once the inside, you remove the screws and the inside socket comes out, put it to the side. You might want to hang on to these in case you got other gyms, you have uh, uh, the socket that breaks or something. These are, you can reuse them. Then what you want to do is remove this inside plate so the, the new light bulb can fit. You got to loosen up all these screws there's four of them and then that plate sinks in if this part doesn't come off by itself you got to bend it like that and remove it completely sometimes this white part will fall in and you can remove remove it all whole like that but if not bend it inside and uh, like that and it'll come out so this one stayed on it didn't fall through so you got to bend it inside that way when you bend it, you can easily remove it. Toss off to the side. Then just all you gotta do is re-screw these back on. I would recommend putting a nut on the end of the, the screw on the inside. Right there, right here. See that little screw right there? Put a nut so it can tighten and hold it, hold it uh, in place. Once that's done, you can move this off to the side until you're ready. And then you get this bottom part. All you gotta do is remove all the, the nuts from here. You're not gonna use them, so you can throw them away. You can actually cut this wire flush, and this is what you're gonna use, this side. The one that's going into the bottom of it, right here. Once you got all the uh, wire nuts off, this is how it should look. You have three wires exposed plus your ground right here and then get your uh, get your wire nuts and attach them to each one 
green with the green, black with the black, white with the white. This is how it should look. Green with the uh, white, uh, green and yellow, which is ground, black and black and white, which you could connect to uh, the next step. This wire, remember the one on the side, you can just cut it even. It's dead, so don't worry about it. This is the one we're gonna use. So then you get the bottom part, and you wanna make these holes right here a little bit bigger, so your screws, these right there can fit through. So you make the hole bigger with the drill. Just a little bit, not too much. And also you need one of these. It's a bigger outlet so it can fit the bigger bulb. See, the, the reason why we have these screws is because these ones that come with the outlet are too short. You wanna push them out and remove them. So you want to get the screw, the long ones, from the box that you got. And you want to slide them in here like this. So you should, it should look like this afterwards. And then, you're going to slide it in the, in, uh, in the holes right here. Slide it in there. And it should fit right there, like that, in the holes. See that? And it should sit that way. Then you get your nuts, flip it inside out, and just screw them in from the bottom. Once they're screwed in, they should look like this. So you're screwing them in from the bottom, and your your thing should your outlet should look like that. Then your wires. Then you what you're gonna do is get your bot your top piece and connect the new white one and the new black one with that white one right here and the black one here. Once you make the connections, it should look like this. So your socket runs to this, to the black to the black, the white to the white, and the ground to the green. Don't forget that, the white, the ground to the green. Then you're gonna close it up. Like that. Put all your screws back, screws that go here. Once you've done that, you put all four screws back. The last one, remember, you gotta put the safety safety wire back. It's just in case the dome should fall for whatever reason off the, it should unbuckle, it'll catch it. So you put the last screw with the safety, it's very important, don't forget this step. Put the screw in there, and you put it on there. We're gonna be using the Seiko 100 watt LED for this uh, basketball dome light. Remember, each one comes with the warning sticker that the light has been modified, uh, retrofitted to, uh, to be a uh, LED. You wanna stick that onto the side and screw on the bulb. This is how it should look. Your bulb, your new brand new LED bulbs in, your warning sign, and then you just put it in into the old, uh, I mean to the dome, the dome part of the basketball dome. All you gotta do is slide in there carefully. That little hook catches, but just maneuver it to get in there. Make sure you hook it from the back, from this hook right here, and then come to the front. Make sure it clips on right as well, right here. You turn this this way to the side, and you want to tighten up that screw right there. You tighten up the screw so it can stay locked in position. Remember, you're gonna have uh, this is the one you're gonna use. This one, it just stays there because it's an extra wire. Unless you want to eliminate it, it doesn't really matter because it's dead. It's not connected to anything. So then you want to go back up there and install your light. So you bring your light up here. All you're going to do is hook it back on there. 
and connect your connection to that one. This is the other connection. This one you just, it's dead, so you just tuck it in there. So once it's on there on the hook, like that, you just get this connection here and connect it here. And if you did everything right, your LED would turn on. This is just is a dead wire, so you could just tuck it in right there. And that's how you retrofit the basketball dome to a LED light. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. This is Ozzy. My phone number is 562-480-3086. Uh, call me, feel free to call me uh, for any part numbers or anything, uh, any uh, questions you may have. Thank you.